Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix Micro Sequoia network and Wi-Fi issues. Some users have encountered various network related problems after updating to Micro Sequoia 15. These issues can range from random connection drops, slow internet, difficulties with VPNs, and trouble with third party firewalls. If your Mac has also run into these annoying problems, I have got you covered with handy fixes. That said, let's get started. So first off, I will recommend you to install the available system software updates. Start by ensuring that your macOS is fully updated, as Apple often releases patches that fix known bugs, including those related to network connectivity. To do so, you have to launch the system settings app on your Mac. And then you have to head over to general and choose software update. And then you have to download and install the latest macOS update. And then I would recommend you to update third-party security apps. If you have third-party security software such as firewalls, VPNs, or antivirus programs installed, it is important to update them all. App developers frequently release updates to resolve compatibility issues with new macOS version. To get it, then you have to open the App Store on your Mac. And then you have to head over to the update section. And then you have to install any available updates for your apps. Another reliable solution that I would recommend you to try is to disable VPNs. VPNs are known to sometimes interfere with network connectivity and messaging on macOS. Therefore, disabling them can often solve these issues. To do so, you have to disable any active VPNs on your Mac. And then you have to test your network connection again to see if the issue is resolved. Next up, I would recommend you to disable third-party network filters and firewalls. Third-party network filters and firewalls can cause conflicts in macOS. Temporarily disabling them can help determine if they are causing the issue. To do so, you have to go to the Apple menu and then you have to choose the system settings option in the drop down menu. And then you have to select network and then you have to head over to VPN and filters. And then you have to disable any network filters, firewalls or proxies. Then you have to turn on Wi-Fi and then you have to turn it back on and check if the issue is fixed. Next up, I will recommend you to reset network settings in macOS Sequoia. A tried and true method for resolving network issues is to manually delete your network settings and reconfigure them. This essentially gives you a fresh start. To do so, you have to quit all apps on your Mac. And then you have to turn on Wi-Fi via the Wi-Fi menu or control center. In Finder, you have to open the Go menu and then you have to choose Go to Folder. And then you have to enter the following path. And then you have to locate and drag the following files to your desktop to create a backup. And then you have to restart your Mac. After the restart, you have to turn Wi-Fi back on and reconnect to your network. And then you have to open Safari or your preferred browser to confirm if your internet connection is working again. And finally, I will recommend you to set your private address to fix. Some users have resolved network issues by resetting their Wi-Fi's private address to fix. This can stabilize the connection and prevent random drops. To do so, you have to head over to the system settings app on your Mac and then you have to choose Wi-Fi. And then you have to find your active connection. And then you have to hit the details option. And then you have to set your private Wi-Fi address to fix. And that's about it. So these are the best tips and tricks through which you'll be able to fix Mac or Sequoia network and Wi-Fi issues. Hopefully, we have gotten better at the problem. Now that we have sorted out the issue, feel free to share your feedback. And I'll catch you up in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have your time. Bye-bye.